This guide is going to look at Kestrel and Merlin as confusion species, which is most likely to be a problem during the non-breeding season. Kestrel is a common and familiar falcon found all over the UK in a very wide range of habitats, from urban areas and farmland right into high and wild ground and mountains. Merlin is perhaps a less familiar species found principally in the north and west on moorland and mountains in the breeding season, but also likely to be encountered in the lowlands, in coastal or even farmland habitats in winter right around the UK. Kestrel is possibly the most familiar of our raptors, the motorway hawk, and it is a medium-sized falcon with longish wings and long tail, giving an overall elegant appearance with light and buoyant flight. Kestrels feed principally on invertebrates and small mammals, and so its hunting technique consists of sit and wait, often on a high perch, such as a telegraph pole, or by hovering. And in the UK, this hovering is a definitive identifying behaviour of kestrel. Once prey has been spotted, kestrels will often roll sideways and down off the post before dropping onto the meal. Kestrels also drop from the hover, often in steps, turning to drop before twisting back into the wind to hover again before repeating the process. Again, this behaviour is distinctive. Both male and female kestrels show chestnut upper parts with well demarcated dark outer wings. Both sexes also have a broad black tip to the tail, which is barred in females and silver grey in males. The grey head of the male is not particularly obvious except in a close view, but all kestrels have a dark moustachial stripe. Merlin is a much smaller falcon. The largest females barely match the smallest male kestrels. The tail is square and the wings broad-based, accentuating the dumpy, solid impression. When resting, the birds often perch on the ground, or low posts or rocks, and often look neckless or hunched. Their main prey is small birds, and so the hunting technique is totally different to kestrel. The birds fly in a purposeful fashion and never hover. The best description of their flight is dashing. When flying normally, flight tends to be low level, using the ground as cover. And when actively hunting, merlins often disguise themselves by adopting a different flight style. By using shallow flicking wing beats, merlin can look surprisingly like the similarly sized mizzle thrush. Perhaps this allows the falcon to get closer to prey before its presence is detected. Once the chase is on, merlins are amazingly agile, with a furious twisting flight path, easily matching the escape attempts of the prey. In similar fashion to kestrels, male merlins also have a dark outer wing and black band at the end of the tail, which is also grey. But no merlin has chestnut back and wings. Male merlins are slate grey and the females dark brown. Both sexes also have a dark moustachial stripe, but the markings on the face give a distinctive impression of two stripes, one behind the eye and one in front. Male and female merlins are similar in size to male and female sparrowhawks. The females are dark brown and well marked, and the males grey above and rufous below. But in all cases, the falcon shape, pointed wings, habitat and jizz should prevent confusion. The other potential confusing species from behind is peregrine, when size isn't apparent. Peregrine shares the slate grey back and wings and tail with the male merlin. But peregrine is a very stocky, bulky bird. The grey on peregrine shades gradually to a darker wingtip, and they have a highly distinctive lighter rump and tail base. We will be returning to peregrine and other falcons in a future guide.